All right, guys. Um, kind of was gonna set up camp here, and uh, well, I've kind of set it up actually. I got my tarp put up over my table. Um, supposed to be blocking the sun, but it's blocking it way the heck back over here. And you can see kind of like where it is on the table right now. But uh, anyway, um, I've got a a new hammock that I bought. Oh, a month or so back. I've never opened it. And um, I'd like to do a little review on the channel and uh, kind of give you my thoughts on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get it set up and get it ready to go. And uh, we'll unbag it here together, okay? So let me get the camera turned around here and we'll go and try and get it set up here. So give me just a minute here. Let me... Uh, get over here where I can set it down on something all right all right I'm gonna go switch the camera around I'll be right back okay so this tree here and that tree there are the two that I'm going to put this hammock on. So let me go get it out of the bag real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the hammock. It's a Walmart special. Uh, it's called Equip comes with a little warning thing it says it's a one person mosquito hammock uh, made by equip outdoors uh, okay so it says says that it weighs 2.5 pounds packed up like this um, can hold up to 400 pounds it comes with the hanging kit and integrated loop system with a no seam bug net so um, we'll go ahead and start unpacking this real quick so let's see what's what all's in this thing okay so we got a a bag and it looks like it has uh, like some tent stake kind of things like a tent poles and some extra string so that's in that and then I'm assuming these are the hanging the ropes for it yeah it looks like that's it oh yeah there it is carabiner and there's the uh the hanging ropes I'm, I'm guessing so at least that's what it looks like to me okay what else is in here okay so there's the other side of it there we go so it all packs out of that one little pocket there and uh yeah, more hanging straps on this side. All right, well, let's uh, hang it up and see what it looks like. It's kind of different. All right, let's see how the instructions say to do this. All right, so it says to unclip the clips from the hammock and run it through the loop to bring it taut against the tree. Okay. So we take that off and run around the tree. And I guess run it like that, I guess. Okay different okay let's try this one over here
Okay. Let's see here. This is the top. Okay. All right. So this one in here. Up a little bit higher, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll go up higher. Okay. Go up higher over here. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, so let's see. Okay, it says open the tent stakes and put them through the holes on the the tent portion of the, the hammock. All right. So it goes like that. Through there. Put it together. Okay, well that's one. It kind of has that little tent rod looking thing on it. All right, let's see about this one here. Okay. Let's do this one. Just pop it here, like so. All right. Well, let me pick this up and show you what we got over here. All right, so we got the, uh, I guess like a tent thing, I guess, right there. All right, well, let's continue on. Let me uh, set this back down and get the instructions back out. Okay. Let's see. All right. Fasten the canopy lines about 24 inches above the hammock. Be sure to leave appropriate slack to prevent tearing the mosquito net. Okay. So apparently we do this and it, it goes up 24 inches above it, I guess. So it says it feeds it through the loops. There. There. And there. So now, I guess we feed these around the tree. Kind of like so. It's different. Not like my normal hammock. My normal hammock is quite different from this. I don't have to string all the canopy up or anything on mine. apparently like that
Okay, well that's a rather different hanging hammock from what I've, I've ever seen. So it hangs sort of like a tent. It's kind of neat. So you got the little tent stake thing here. And then it ties way up there on the tree. And then the same thing down here. The uh, like tent stake thing. And then it goes up here and ties to the tree. Definitely different for sure. Huh. Definitely interesting. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'm gonna try and slide into this thing and see how easy it is to get in and out of it. All right. So far it holds. I'm gonna put my full weight on it now. I'm gonna kick off my shoes so I don't get a bunch of dirt in here. Okay, so this is definitely not a uh, lay flat hammock. I mean, I'm sure you could probably like, let me see if I can turn a little bit, go a little bit sideways with it, kind of diagonalish. Yeah, it's not too bad. Really roomy. And uh, the hammock, the net not being on my face is kind of nice. I like that it's up and it's airy. It's not too bad. Definitely holding my weight. And uh, I'm about 240. So, not too bad, guys. It's actually pretty roomy in here. Let me uh, come grab the camera. Let me come grab the camera, and uh, I'll bring you in here with me. Take you off the tripod for a minute. Alright. Take the shoes back off. All right, so if I lay at a diagonal like this, it does lay pretty flat, and it is extremely roomy in here, so not too bad. For 40 bucks, this would be a decent little uh, hammock to, to sleep in for sure. However, saying that, um, you'll probably have to buy a, um, uh, like an extra under quilt to go underneath it maybe. Or an over quilt, something that you can like not freeze your back off. Put it underneath it, maybe. If you could find one that will work for it. I think the intent, though, for this style of hammock is to kind of lay banana-ish. So you kind of lay, like, with your head up this way, and then with your feet and legs and stuff going out that way. So... Oh, there's another set of zippers over there I didn't see. 
Well, that's cool. So apparently you can take the net off. There's a pair of zippers right there at my toe. I didn't see that until just now. So there's a pair of zippers right there. And then the other zippers are right there. So, yeah, not too bad, guys. I could probably sleep in this. It would take some getting used to. Like, I could, uh, I'm having to kind of turn sort of diagonal in it. And I lay pretty flat that way. So it's not too bad. But I love this, uh, this net canopy being way up like it is. I mean, it really gets it up there out of your face. It's really nice. Not too bad. Alright, let me uh, flip the camera around. One second. Okay, so as you can see, I'm up here at the head end of it. And you can see, like, there's probably a good, um, probably a good three foot between my head and the top of the, the hammock up there. So, maybe two foot, maybe. Two and a half feet, three feet. Two and a half feet, something like that. So there's that first pair of zippers there and then the other set down there by my toes so not too bad actually this is pretty comfortable i don't know how comfortable it would be if it got cold um you know say we didn't have an under quilt or something to put underneath it i'm sure it'd get kind of chilly but um yeah not too bad guys i like it it's different for sure um Eh. Eh. I don't know, maybe if I tried to sleep in it for a couple of months and see how it goes and then do a review after like three or four months or something maybe and uh, maybe three months and then come back and give a, another review of it but so far I'm impressed with it it's not bad for $40 it's uh, pretty decent like I said, I weigh 240-ish, 230-ish, somewhere right around there, 230, 240, and uh, it's holding my weight just fine. They said it holds up to 400 pounds, so I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this. This is kind of nice. Well, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Uh, what do y'all think? Would it be something that y'all would be interested in purchasing? Like I said, this is something that I bought from Walmart. It's in the uh, camping section at Walmart. Um, so, it's it's not bad. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What y'all think? be something that y'all would uh, want to sleep in. Because uh, I've got this one here, and then I've got my normal hammock that I normally sleep in, and it's, like, just right back over that way. Actually, like, right back over that way. Uh, yeah. Sorry. It's over here somewhere, like, back that way. Anyway... Um, if you guys would like for me to do a, a review of my normal hammock that I normally sleep in, like I've had that sucker for years and it just, man, it's just an awesome hammock. Um, I'll do a review on it too if y'all want and uh, kind of show y'all around it. But this one here, I'm pretty impressed guys. Um, like I said, it's got the little spreader bar thing there and then it's got another one over on the other end down there. Um, just like just like that one there but down on the other end and uh tied it up to the tree so quite impressed it's decent not bad for forty dollars i would say that this is uh forty dollars well spent but 
anyway, I'm going to go ahead and test this thing out for a couple of months and see how I like it. And then after three months or so, I'll come back and give another review, like full review on it, to kind of give you guys an update on it, see what y'all think. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank y'all for joining me. I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Till next time. See you guys. Okay, so we went ahead and took it all down and packed it up. So it's done. So anyway, guys, that hammock was pretty neat. Definitely something different, a lot more different than what I'm used to. So um, what I'll do is I'll take you over here and I'll show you my normal hammock, the one I sleep in all the time. This one here I've had for gobs and gobs and gobs of years. So this one here already has the bug net attached to it. And this one is a completely lay flat. They call it the Pinnacle 180. And it's made by Ridge Outdoor Gear. Let me flip the camera around here real quick. One sec. Okay, so... This is the hammock that I normally use. And it is made by Ridge Outdoor Gear. Now this is the one I've had for years and years and years and years and years. Um, probably five, six, seven years now I've had it. This is the Pinnacle 180 made by Ridge Outdoor Gear. And this one here already has the bug net done up so that way I don't have to tie it up it's already tied up what it is there's a, a metal cable that goes from here all the way across the ridge line to there and it's a coated metal cable and this thing holds 300 pounds and I lay completely flat in it so if I put my head here at this side and I put my feet over there on that side it lays completely flat and uh, I've got a uh, under quilt that goes under this one and it's made by one tigress the one tigress uh, camping equipment and um, Ridge Outdoor Gear also has a uh, cover that will go on here and attaches to these little loops on the side of the hammock here and uh, it goes over this side and then back down on the other side and it's removable the net on this one here is also 100 percent removable so you can take pull it out and there's a little pocket on uh i believe this in here you can take that net and then shove it all up in this little pocket up here if you don't want the net on it and then it comes with a pair of eight foot straps and what I had to do, because the distance between trees sometimes is a little far, um, I went and bought me some 12-foot straps at Dick's Sporting Goods and added those to the hammock. So, anyway, like I said, guys, if you want me to do a review of this, let me know and uh, we'll definitely do it. So, anyway, I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Till next time, we'll see you. Bye, guys.